Today I'm trying to clarify the difference between the Orca Torch D700, a 1700 lumens torch, and the Diverite BX2, a 1000 lumens torch. Both of these torches are good units, but they are different. The D700 outputs a similar brightness to the BX2, however due to the D700 being a more powerful torch, the halo is a lot brighter than the BX2. While the torches are pretty much the same brightness, the D700 will output a broader diameter beam. I've measured the brightness of the halo of each of the torches on this graph. If we look at the output from the BX2 at 350 lux, we can see the halo diameter is approximately 450 millimeters when measured 3.2 meters from the light source. And if we compare the same 350 lux output from the D700, we can see the halo diameter is approximately 900 millimeters, or roughly double the BX2. While the halo is not as bright as the spot on the torches, it will still have an effect on your diving experience. In broad daylight, you won't see the halo on the BX2. It's just not bright enough. It's only when you get into an area that's in shadow that you will be able to see the halo on the BX2. So when I enter in under this ledge that's pretty dark, you'll see the halo on the BX2 is quite useful without being overly wide, which is something I like when hunting rock lobsters. Once again, back into the daylight, the effect of the halo is diminished. The bright narrow spot of the BX2 means I can check for lobsters at a greater distance, allowing me to cover more ground in the hunt. In contrast, the D700's halo is definitely more visible, even in ambient light. The negative to a broader light when hunting rock lobster is that you have more of a chance of spooking the lobster before you actually see it. This torch is doing a great job in daylight conditions, illuminating large areas from a fair distance away. So I've found a lobster and I'm covering the front of the torch with my fingers to reduce the amount of light I'm outputting. But surprisingly, he's not fleeing, even when I remove my fingers from the front of the torch and ultimately give him the full output from the D700. He must know that I've hit my 50 bar and I'm on my way to the surface and I don't have time to wrestle. So why do I love the BX2 if the D700 is a broader light? Well, its main use is for hunting rock lobster. You can see me use the BX2 in this J-Class submarine. While the halo is definitely useful, the tight beam angle of the BX2 is a little bit limiting. Admittedly, the D700 would be a better choice for this environment. So why would I stay with the BX2? I'll let you in on a little secret. For this environment, I'd normally be using my Fishlight V25 video light. As you can see, there's no competition with the wide 110 degree beam angle of this video light. So while the D700 has a broader diameter of light, the output does drop over time. On a typical 45 minute dive, you may not be able to visually detect this. But if you did a second 45 minute dive without replacing the batteries, you'd definitely notice that the light was not as bright, but it would still probably do the job. I've tried to record the decay over time, but I don't think my video camera has done a great job of it. One more thing I forgot to mention, the D700 is able to use the 18650 batteries as well. So if you have spare 18650 batteries, you could use these as well. 